As we're looking for the green flag, it's in the air and we are racing. And Sean Weigel off to the early jump down into one and two. And look at that, Normanin gonna go to the outside at Dix. That'll put Normanin up into that second spot. Barnhart follows through, Pfeiffer follows through. And now they're three wide off into three and four. Now side by side with Josh Barnhart, Colton Pfeiffer. Lap number one though, the 54W. Sean Weigel showing the way off into one and two. Colton Pfeiffer's now cleared Barnhart working up into that second spot. He'll slide up and Barnhart now gonna get a nose to the bottom side as they run down the back straightaway off into three and four. Weigel, Normandon, Pfeiffer, Barnhart and Dix, your top five. Here comes Brian Stitch working the bottom of Joel Dix down the front straightaway. They're side by side off into one and two and here comes Brian Stitch. Slide job and he'll take that fifth spot away. Everybody still chases that 54W of a shot. John Weigel through three and four. Normanin working the bottom, trying to gain some ground through three and four. And Weigel, Normanin, Piper, Barnhart, Stitch. Now Eric Cross working the bottom side of Joel Dix off into one and two. Dix able to hold him off. Then across and bury your field as now Brian Stitch working over the 5150 of Josh Barnhart through three and four. And Stitch gonna drop it to the bottom down the front straightaway. Gonna try to set up the pass up into one and two. Barnhart running that top side. Stitch working through the middle of one and two. Now down the back straightaway. As battle for the lead brewing, here comes Mark Normandon in the 82. Turns it to the bottom now down to the front straightaway. Weigel, Norman, and Pfeiffer, your top three. Then that battle for the fourth spot between Josh Barnhart and Brian Stitch. Your front three all right there together. Then a little gap back to that side-by-side -side battle for the fourth spot between Brian Stitch and Josh Barnhart. And it looks like Brian Stitch gonna complete the pass here on the front straightaway. And Brian Stitch up into that fourth spot. Barnhart back to third. And Normandin, he takes a peek down low on Weigel. Down the back straightaway they go. That was the battle for the lead. Weigel pulled away off into three and four. And it looks like white flag gonna come out this time by one more lap for Sean Weigel. Normandin a little squirrely through turn three and four. Here comes Pfeiffer and Stitch. Stitch drops it to the bottom on Pfeiffer. Can't make it happen. He'll fall in line. Here comes Normandin. Battle for the lead down the back straight away. They go side by side off into three and four. Normandin running the bottom. Weigel running through the middle. Checkered flag. Your winner in heat number one. 54W of Sean Weigel. For that green, fl or, yep, green flag in the air coming out of turn number four. And Garrison with the early advantage. Woods dropping. Looks like a problem there on Nicole Woods. As Roger Garrison, your leader down the back straightaway. Daniel Irwin's up into that second spot. Say Simino working through third. Here comes Garrett Hager up into fourth. And lap one, 6X, Roger Garrison, your leader. Garrison, Irwin, Shea Simino, here comes Garrett Hager dropping to the bottom. They're side by side for that third spot. Down the back straight away they go. Off into three and four. Hager running the bottom. Shea Simino up top. Coming out of turn number four. They're still side by side. And Shea Simino still holding on to that third spot as he's right on the back bumper of Daniel Irwin. Big three car battle there for that second spot is up front. It's the white 6X of Roger Garrison. Showing the way now through three and four. Simino Gives a little shot in the shorts right there to Daniel Irwin through three and four. And Garrett Egger working the bottom side. Flagman Johnny Moppin telling Shea Simino, hey, cool it. As Garrett Hager, he's now up in front of Shea Simino into that third spot. So Garrison, Irwin, Hager, your top three. Shea Simino then side by side with Brady Binkin and Cody Williams for that fifth spot. And right now, it's Cody Williams with the spot going into one and two. Garrett Hager now to the bottom side of Daniel Irwin. Garrison with a problem. They're going to split him down the back straightaway. A new leader, the 68 of Garrett Hager off into three and four. Daniel Irwin to second. And Shea Simino working the bottom side through three and four, trying to take it away, but he's going to pop back up in line. 
Garrett Hager, Daniel Irwin, and Shea Simino, your top three. And it looks like Shea Simino may have a problem. He was just slow coming out of turn number two. As here comes Cody Williams. He is closing in on Shea Simino with Brady Binkin in tow right on his back bumper through three and four. Up front, it's a comfortable lead for the 68 of Garrett Heggers. He's going to go down the back straightaway. Daniel Irwin, Shea Simino, Cody Williams, Brady Binkett, your top five as the leader. Off into three and four, he's going to see the white flag. This time by one more lap for the Wild Child. And it looks like Garrison's car finally couldn't take anymore, and he's going to limp it off into the pits. As good battle now for that third spot between Shea Simino, Cody Williams. But checkered flag out of turn four, your winner, the wild child, Garrett Hare. Your winner for your Golden Plains. Billy, what are you doing? Jump it. No, yes, yes, no, no you're not, one. you're not. Briney Motorsports of Hayes is your local Can-Am dealer carrying a wide selection of ATVs and UTVs. They are your full speed shop for performance racing parts, safety gear, full line of pickup and Jeep accessories, and so much more. With a full service shop that handles all makes and models, come by and check out Briney Motorsports, located on East 8th Street in Hayes. Old Billy might like jumping the construction, but you don't have to. 